I bet you've never tasted beans on toast quite like this. Say hello to my cheesy masala beans on toast. This recipe is truly a cheesy dose of British nostalgia, thisified. So many British homes, notably South Asian ones, have their own take on curried baked beans and mine is no different. I remember when I was a kid, my mom would make these masala beans with little cubes of potatoes and we'd scoop it up with hot buttered rutli. While beans and chapati might be the epitome of basic, there's something about it that makes me feel so comforted. It's like central heating for the soul. Slather the spicy, buttery, key cooked baked beans onto toast and then top with cheese, onions, chilies and coriander. Grill until it's gooey and bubbling. Seriously, you have to make this. If you can handle spicy food, you are going to love this. The next time you have a mountain of chilies to use up, do this. Chop off the bottom ends and slice each chili in half lengthways. Remember that the smaller the chilies, the spicier they are. So you can try this with mild peppers too. And mix together some thick yogurt and mustard, along with some turmeric and citric acid. A pinch of salt and then give everything a really good mix. Once everything is lovely and smooth, throw in your green chilies. So delicious. Let's make a classic Indian potato dish. It's called alu methi and it's a combination of soft potatoes cooked with fresh fenugreek leaves. We'll start with a tempering of whole spices and aromatics. One of my most favourite things to add to this curry is fresh turmeric. Fenugreek can be found at your local South Asian green grocer or market. It's leafy just like spinach but the flavour is slightly bitter with hints of caramel. Since the flavour of methi is quite strong, pairing it with a blank canvas like fluffy potatoes is the ideal solution. Chuck in a chopped tomato right at the end for a zip of freshness. You can have this quick and easy curry on the table in 20 minutes. Now tell me what I should cook next. 